Make no mistake about it, guys. The Bud Light boycott is probably the most effective boycott we have ever seen in our lifetime. I mean, the sales for the beers have gone down into the tank. It's been like two months now, and there seems to be no recovery coming at all for Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light. It is a disaster, guys. It is a disaster. This is a prime example on how to destroy your company with this one move. Bud Light isn't even taking responsibility for it. They're passing a buck. They said, oh, it was some other firm that did this. Even though Bud Light actually put um, a couple of their um, marketing executives on leave, which I truly do believe that just means they fired them. And I don't think we're going to be seeing them again. This boycott has been very, very effective. And don't let up. Don't let up. There's multiple alternatives out there to Bud Light. Nobody wants to be seen with their beer. Men do not want to be seen with the beer. Because when you see a man now with a Bud Light. People are thinking, wait a minute, is he actually manly? Yes, your masculinity is being questioned if you're drinking a Bud Light. That's not a good sign, man. That is not a good sign for Bud Light. But they did it to themselves. They went down this path. They have not apologized at all. The LGBT bars out there in Chicago, they're boycotting. Conservatives, they're boycotting. They have alienated everybody, man. Everybody. And if they actually do come out and apologize, then the um, the LGBTs that are actually still drinking the beer are going to be outraged. They're going to be outraged. And I believe really that um, conservatives probably probably won't actually come back. But, however, a former executive over at Anheuser-Busch. He kind of. Is thinking something a little bit different. He thinks that um, Anheuser Busch should actually come out and apologize. I don't know if that's going to work at this point. I don't know. I do believe that Anheuser Busch, Bud Light, they're going to lose their top tier status as the best selling beer. Look here on the Daily Wire. Getting worse and worse. Former Anheuser-Busch executive predicts Bud Light backlash is not going away. Yeah, because it's not going to be going away, guys. It will not go away. It says here, a former executive for Anheuser-Busch, the company which owns Bud Light, predicted that the troubles which the beer brand induced for itself through a partnership with self-described transgender social media influencer Dylan Mulvaney, will continue. Bud Light garnered controversy among conservatives after the brand partnered with Mulvaney, a man who claims to be a woman. Market data indicates that sales for Bud Light declined nearly 24%. In the week ending on May 6th, in comparison to the same period last year, A slightly more severe outcome than the decline witnessed for the week ended April 29th, even as other Anheuser-Busch brands suffered to a lesser extent. Yeah, it's getting worse week by week for Bud Light. Now, the overall Anheuser-Busch brand, yeah, they're down, but they're not down nearly as much as Bud Light. Not even close. If I'm not mistaken, I could have my numbers wrong here, but I believe like uh, Michelob Ultra is like down 2%. Some other ones are down like uh, 10%. But Bud Light, 24%. Guys, this is the way that um, a president and CEO loses their job. When you don't sell stuff, man, the company fails. Investors are not going to be happy. Look here. Anson Fredericks, who spent more than a decade at Anheuser-Busch and served as president of the company's uh, business unit uh, devoted to sales and distribution, said in an interview with Fox Business 
that consumers presently, quote, feel like they're having an impact because they aren't. This thing is working, man. Meaning that the boycott against Bud Light will not cease until the brand meaningfully apologizes for the misstep. And there still has been no apology. It's been this long and there still has been no apology. Quote, every single week, these sales sales numbers are being reported and they're getting worse and worse every single week. So I see this continuing to drag on until Bud Light makes a comment about what they stand for and what customers they're going to serve. Frederick said with Bud Light, that was never part of the brand or part of the message. And I think that's what's upset so many people here. And that's why I think this boycott is going to go on a lot longer than people give it credit for. Yeah. There has been no apology, but I already said, man, even if they apologize, continue to boycott. Because Anheuser-Busch, they have already told you where they stand. And they are not standing with their target market. They're not. They have just spit in the face. That marketing executive said, yeah, we want to change the frat boy image. In other words, masculinity. Yeah, they attack men. That's they did. So keep the boycott going. Current executives for Anheuser-Busch have indeed downplayed the extent of the partners partnership in recent weeks. And even solicited veteran lobbyists in efforts to win back conservatives who once consumed the brew. The company, meanwhile, seems to have alienated those on both ends of the political spectrum. Leftists and owners of gay bars, which we talked about across the country, likewise threatened to launch additional boycotts after the firm backed away from Mulvaney. I mean, at this point, man, they had to back away from Mulvaney. They had to distance themselves from Dylan Mulvaney because I believe that 24 percent down probably would have been 50 percent down. I truly do believe that, man. So this is what happens, man, when companies decide to go down this path, man. Just sell beer. If it's been working for you forever, why change it? No reason to change it, man. But they did this. They did this to themselves. And I'm all here for it, guys. This thing has definitely, definitely gotten very, very political. And um, don't let up. Don't let up. Even if they come out and apologize, still boycott. Why? Because for one thing, they waited, what, two plus months? I mean, guys, it could be six months from now before they apologize. Once those numbers hit a really, really drastic level and 24% is pretty drastic. What if this thing actually hits 50% down, 70% down, and then they finally say, we're sorry. We're sorry. We didn't mean to do it. We ain't going to do it again. Uh, Please come back. Please come back. Buy our beer. Say no. Say no. Find a brand out there that represents your values. Because this company clearly does not represent your values whatsoever. They have exposed themselves. They've exposed themselves. They want new customers. The marketing executive told you that. I don't care if she's on leave. She represented the company and she went out there and she said it. They don't want you anymore. Remember that. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and White Network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.